My kitchen is covered in flour. What a disaster! <laughs> Little Unicorn has invited her friend over. Come on, let's hunt for treats. What are they hiding? Whoops! Hi, Miss Gonzalez! You have to eat your breakfast first. Hmm. Here, have some healthy oatmeal. You don't like it? Then let's add some fun fruit faces. Oh. Oatmeal with a cute fruity face is way tastier. Fruit has so many vitamins. But this bowl is kind of bland. I know a fruit trick. Put a lemon onto a fork, like this, so you don't hurt yourself, and cut out two circles. Use a fork to help slice all the fruit pieces. It's really easy. Oh my gosh! My friend turned into a chef. She must have been born with cooking talents. She made a rainbow out of regular fruits, with marshmallows instead of clouds. Mmm, it's so yummy! Our little chef is having trouble with some dough. Miss Gonzalez is coming to the rescue. Let's make tasty gingerbread cookies together. Roll out pre-made gingerbread dough. Trace a kid's hand with a wooden skewer. Cut out the dough palms. Place them on a baking tray covered with parchment paper. Bake for 15 minutes at 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Add a teaspoon of lemon juice to one egg white. Whip it with a mixer. Put in five and a half ounces of powdered sugar and keep mixing. Divide the icing into parts. And add food coloring. Pour the colored icing into bottles. Our gingerbread cookies are all done. Now, let's show off our artistic talents. Don't be afraid of getting your hands dirty with the icing. The brighter, the better. Let's give some to Unicorn. Mmm, delicious! I can bake cookies too. I need a rolling pin. My secret recipe needs flour, toys, markers, and a lot of fun. Let's bake it now. Roll pre-made short crust pastry into little balls. Place them on a baking tray covered with parchment paper. Press the balls with a glass. Shape a paw with big and small chocolate chips. Bake them for 10 minutes at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Done! Oh my goodness! What happened here? A baking war or an invasion of chocolate creatures? Let's try the paws. Delicious! But we should just stay away from this kitchen. 
Let's have a picnic. I'm not eating this. It looks way too boring and bland. But I've got a whole army of monsters which can make any lunchbox better. Make random spots of colored hot glue on parchment paper. Stick in googly eyes while the glue is still warm. Create a few colorful monsters. Add legs and hands with a darker hot glue. Take the hardened monsters off parchment paper. Attach double-sided tape to the back. Stick small rubber monsters onto wooden skewers. Put little sandwiches and veggies onto the skewers. Attach the glue monsters to a lunchbox. These monsters are so funny! Even the pickiest clients will like this monstrous lunch! We have to feed our unicorn! Here's a special sandwich for her. Cut the crust off white bread. Cut a rocket out of two slices. Make two round windows on one slice. Cut cheese and ham the same way. Coat the bread with cream cheese. Make the tail of the rocket out of cheese and ham. Cut the fins out of cheese. Put on cheese and ham. Cover it with the other piece of bread. Place olive rings into the windows. Decorate the rocket with pieces of fresh cucumber. Put lettuce into a lunchbox and place the rocket on top. Put sliced carrots and fresh peas into a paper cupcake mold to be a planet. Sprinkle everything with cheese and carrot stars. Unicorn forgot all about her food. A flower is tastier than any meal. But the smell of the rocket with cheese will definitely lure her. It worked! Something here smells great! Mmm, a space sandwich! When it comes to eating veggies, unicorns need special forks. Shape polymer clay into a piece with rounded edges. Put it onto the handle of a fork. Shape a pineapple. Create a diamond pattern using a toothpick. Press in hollows for eyes with a round modeling tool. Make a leaf out of green polymer clay. Cut it along the edge and roll it up. Attach it on top of the pineapple. Take the piece off the fork. Make a carrot the same way. Bake the pieces following the clay package instructions. Color the face with acrylic paints. Put the ready pieces onto a fork. Whoa! What adorable decorations! Choose what you want to eat with. A cute pineapple or a baby carrot. We ran out of food so fast and there is nothing left for Miss Gonzalez. Don't be sad. You're about to have some sweet butterflies. Coat wooden clothespins with acrylic paint. Bend thin wire to make butterfly antenna. Paint them. Super glue them to a clothespin. 
Attach googly eyes on top. To make a snack for butterflies, you have to fasten a bag of treats with these cute pins. And your lunch looks magical right away! We came up with a new way to use chopsticks. You can massage a fish with them. What's going on here? These fishy friends need a distraction. What about some sushi? Cut marshmallows in half. Cut every piece up to the center. Put in licorice and gummy candies. Shape a roll out of marshmallows and candies. Slice it. Put a gummy fish onto a marshmallow. Wrap a sour belt around it. Place the marshmallow and candy sushi set onto a board. Our sweet sushi set is all done. These are Rainbow Dragon Sushi Rolls. Not bad. Our Japanese cuisine experts love the gummy filling. I have a hot pizza for my rainbow guests. Ew, that's so yesterday. What's trendy now is a Mickey Mouse pizza. Cut a Mickey Mouse head out of a pre-made pizza crust. Slice olives and tomatoes. Grate some cheese. Coat the crust with tomato sauce. Sprinkle it with the cheese. Make an outline of Mickey's face out of olives. Cover the top part with slices of salami. Fill the inside with tomatoes and feta cheese. Bake the pizza until the cheese melts. We just have to add some details using ketchup. Bon appetit! What's that noise? Something is squeaking and rustling. Maybe it's mice. Or is this noise coming from our strawberry dessert? Cut out a strawberry. Make two cuts for ears. Stick in big white chocolate chips. Add a small dark chocolate chip as a nose. Stick in a toothpick to be a tail. Pour melted white chocolate on parchment paper. Wait for it to harden. Cut out a big circle. Make holes in it so it looks like a slice of cheese. Cut it into pieces. Place the mice around the chocolate cheese on the plate. Hey mice! You look so yummy! To be honest, we don't eat mice. But these ones are way too sweet to resist. Did you like our food? Then let us know in the comments about what treat you want to cook at home. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell so that you don't miss new fun recipes from Troom Troom.